This problem number 32 is related to concept of mutual inductance. Two loops P and Q are placed at some separation. In first case, they are giving us current in P and flux in Q. Current given in P is 2 ampere and flux in Q is given 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 wave. We can use relation phi equal to mi which will give me equation number 1, 1.2 into 10 to the power 4 equals to m into 2. Now, they are giving current in coil Q and want to get flux in coil P. Though the coil in which we are giving current has changed, but we know very well the coefficient of mutual inductance does not depend upon this fact because from the theorem m12 equal to m21. So, if I take the same coefficient of mutual inductance, this time current in Q is 6 ampere and we are interested in getting flux in P, let it be phi, then I will get equation number 2, phi equal to m into 6. Now, divide equation 1 by equation 2. I will get my answer for the flux in P due to 6 ampere current in Q equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 Weber and hence answer is option number 3. Question number 36. This problem is related to electromagnetic wave. As we know in electromagnetic wave time varying E produces B and time varying B produces E. As they are producing each other E and B are related to each other. The relation is E equal to B C. In the problem they have given us B equal to 40 nano tesla. Velocity of light is 3 into 10 s to power 8 and hence my answer is 12 volt per meter. Option number 4 is correct option. Problem number 42 is related to the propagation of light through a prism. Here we can say this ray is coming, not going straight, but moving away from the normal. As it is moving away from the normal, that means this refractive index of the prism material is less because we know when light goes from denser medium to rare medium, it moves away from the normal. So, we can conclude N2 is less than N1. This is rare as compared to N1. Now, in this diagram, we can see again that this ray is moving away from the normal because this angle is more than this angle. So, here again we can say this light is going to a rare medium because it is moving away from normal. So, we can say N3 is less than N2. This medium is rare as compared to prism. So, in the sequence we can say N2 is less than N1 as this ray is moving away from the normal. N3 is less than N2 as this ray is moving away from the normal. So, we can say N3 is minimum and N1 is maximum. So, the sequence is N1 is greater than N2, N2 is greater than N3 and hence option number 3 is my correct answer.